Welcome back, in this video, we will be extending our password reset request workflow. In this video we will make our password reset link expire, we will consider some options and eventually go for an optimal solution. Please note there are many ways to do this. We will add two new fields in our user table to store the password reset link and password expiry date. We will add a new parameter to the URL we are sending to the user, this will be a timestamp. Copy the whole URL as we will need to store it in the database. For the expiry date, we will add 10 seconds to the current date time, this means the reset link will expire in 10 seconds. Make sure you convert the result to local time. We are converting the time to local time because the formatter will convert the resulting time to UTC time.
We need to add the new URL parameter for the timestamp to the query manager. We will use the default query manager for this. We will remove the query manager we added in the last video. It's just good to know we can add our own. Let's preview the changes in our page. We are going to add a container that will display when the URL has expired. We are going to check if it's greater than or equal to 10 seconds since the URL has been sent. We are going to use the timestamp parameter and current time to achieve this. You have to convert the timestamp to a number then convert it to a date and check if the seconds until current time is greater than or equal to 10 seconds.
We are going to hide the reset password form container if the condition is true. Also we will need to be getting the current page URL as we will be comparing it with the URL we stored in the database. Reload the page. You will notice that we are notified that the link has expired, our 10 seconds expiry has elapsed, the page automatically react to the change. This means we don't need to manually reload the page with additional steps, the page will react if the condition is true. However if an attacker manipulates the URL, they will still be able to access the page, this is not good, let's do some additional verification in the backend. You will notice the URL input matches the current page URL even when manipulated. The next thing we are going to do is to compare the URL input value with the URL we stored in the database and confirm if the password has not expired. Import the form again to get the new field we just added. Add the two new fields we created to our query. Add a condition in the condition that verifies our key, this new condition will verify our URL link. And add another condition in the condition that verifies our URL link. This new condition will verify if the current date time is less than or equal to the expiry date time we stored in the database. Finally move the password update step into the last condition, and update the user password.
Now return a response for all the conditions if they are not true. Looks like I didn't update the form validations in the backend when I re-imported the form. Awesome, now we are getting a response, even if an attacker tries to manipulate the URL, they will still be restricted. The attacker may still copy the original URL and send it back to us, that's why we are using a third condition in the backend. Let's customize our response for each condition. We see that even though an attacker is able to manipulate the URL, our expiry date verification condition will still prevent them from causing any harm, 
That's why it's always good to always do a server-side validation with a client-side validation. I will proceed to remove the URL verification step as it is unnecessary it's just for educational purposes. Awesome, our date time verification works perfectly. Let me know how you approach your password reset request workflow. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Turn on post notification so you don't miss upcoming videos. If you would like to support the channel, you can buy me a coffee via the link in the description. Thank you.
We have reached the end of this video. Thanks for watching.